If you love the postage collage series from Waffle Flower, you're going to have to check out the latest release. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Today I'm going to show you how this fun card came together using one of the new stencil sets for the postal collage. To see that card come together, stick around. That video is coming up next. Here's a look at the core products I'm using today, and I have already die cut my postage collage die cut so that I have my cardstock ready to go. This is 110 pound cardstock, and I have the postage collage snowy stencil. Doesn't look like much now, but it's going to come to life. So let me get set up to ink blend. I'm going to apply this right to my grip mat. This is the larger grip mat, and I like having a little more room. I've got some small blender brushes. I've got regular sized blender brushes, and I will show you here what we have, uh, let me flip it over there. That makes more sense. So we have, it says on here, one of three skies. So that is going to be stencil one. Then the next one on the stencils, Waffle Flower tells you what is what and gives you suggestions for colors, which I think is really great and makes the process easier. So I am going to start with my snowy, uh, my snowy skies. I think I'm going to add snow to these two. So all you have to do is line up your stencil right on the money, so to speak. And you can see, cause there's an outline that shows you where the dotted line is as well. So these are pretty, these are pretty cool to line up. All right. So I'm going to seal it all in and I'll be grabbing some colors and ink blending. So I'm going to speed this video up and you can watch this beautiful panel, hopefully beautiful, come together. And that is my panel. So I'm going to get all this cleaned up, let this dry, the dye inks dry a little bit because I am going to be cutting these apart today. Also, I accidentally turned this foreground into the sky, so <laughs> I may not be using this one, but let me get them cut apart all the same. So now I'm going to take these pieces and cut them, forgive my head here, right in the middle like that. And again, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use that. So we'll go here too. And again, you just get it lined up, like right here it's one and three quarters of an inch, but really you just have to kind of look for the center of the postage. Oh, that's not centered. Hold on here. There we go. This one down here too, and cut. 
and then we're getting some really cute little postage stamps out of this. I mean, actually, I could cover that one up, so maybe I should cut all of them. I just didn't realize there was a not a sky there as well. So we will cut it. Who knows? Never say never. Just have it ready. Okay. And now I have my pieces cut apart for my card. Before I figure out a design, I do want to stamp on. I could have done this sooner, but I'm going to do it now. And we're going to stamp on some postage from my original waffle flower uh, stamp set. I don't know how I'm going to arrange these yet, so this probably isn't a great idea, but you know, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta roll the dice. Let's do another 30 cents. Okay, we'll just stamp these things on. Oh, you need, there we go. Need to go right back here. I am just gonna use a little black cube here, a little Gina K. And here, we don't even need to go all the way over, but let's see how that looks. Okay, stamp, 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 stamp. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to do that twice. Although that one looks good. I don't think I need to redo that. That, that, that. Yeah, those look great. Actually, I wanna do one more right on there so it's a true cancellation mark. Ink it up. Come down and press. I think I will do that a couple times. Press. And maybe one more time. All right. There we go. Went ahead and made a note card and this is out of some 80 pound cardstock. And I cut this frosty texture panel out of some heavier weight cardstock. And I think what I'll do is add some adhesive. I'm just going to use some tape runner here and adhere that to the front of this card just for a little interesting visual texture. And I'll use my score buddy to help me line this up, which is my little cheat for getting things very quickly up where they need to be. And now I can rub this down. Got some black mucky muck in there. Let me get my adhesive eraser and see if I can get that out. I don't know if this will work, but it certainly does. So if you ever get something pressed in from your plates, an adhesive eraser Boy, I tell you what, they are worth their weight in gold. Yes, they get mucky over time and they look funny, but they really do take out stuff that gets stuck to your paper from your plates. And sometimes that just happens because your plates, oh, it's, they're so gross, get, get dirty. Okay, so we'll just get that off. That looks good. All right. Now I have an idea and I have a greeting ready to go. So I've narrowed it down to these three. And for my greeting, I just used my CZ Design Reverse Winter. It's a really nice all-purpose sentiment strip set and I thought it would look cute. So now I have my little wintry panel. I've got different foam tapes on the back here. So here I've got some thin. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to arrange this yet because I, I actually want the birds to show up. So maybe I might have to take one of the squares off but I just like the idea, you know what? I'm gonna take that one off. Wait, which one? <laughs> there we go. Okay, wait, that one. Yeah, it's, all, it's always the challenge to remember which one. And they're pretty easy to get off once, you know, as long as they're not too permanent right after you put it off. So that's fine there. This will go here. So he needs a one there. Let's see if we can figure this out. I want there to be a little tilt. I want there to be an overlap and then I want this probably just oh now I don't know do I want that to be this is what I'm not great at I think when it comes to figuring out my placements but I think that needs to go right in the center like that or it could just go over to the side that would be cute too 
So we're going to arrange these. Maybe I will put this one down first. So let's just line it up there. So with these postage collages, of course you can leave them as full collages and just pop them on a note card, but it is fun to cut them apart, especially if, like me, you may have not colored in the lake correctly, <laughs> and then you're like, oh, it actually has to go a different way. And now this little guy can tilt right over the mountains. Like that oh, and press so those both have the same depth of foam square this has a slightly higher loft right here and I think I think that's gonna be enough to put it right here at the bottom over the tree and maybe right in I'm trying to create a nice little bit of balance here that right there and then sending love and warmth will just float on top. I'm not worried about uh, putting foam squares to build up on the edges here because I, I just kind of want them to float a little. And here, I don't even think I need, I think I'm just gonna drop it right here, visualize it to the best of my ability and have it centered. There. Oh, I think this is super cute. It's different for me. I'm gonna put a little shine on this to finish it out. I've got some of my, this calls for confetti sparkle all the way. And even though that's just a little bit extra, I think that makes it, that makes a difference. It just makes it, and you know what? I don't always do this, but sometimes I think twos, twos, and twos look good together. It just adds a little something extra. So let me take my liquid glue and we will boop it up. All right. Boop. Boop. Little there. Boop. And boop. Boop. And the last one. Boop. And of course, you know, if you're an embellisher who likes to have coffee while you're booping, by all means. I can't tip over the mug or coffee will fall, but that is my finished card project. So it is not what I thought it was going to be starting out, but I love having the little, little extra shine on there. Plus that cool texture from that plate, which would look so nice with any winter themed or holiday card. But I know at this point, a lot of people have already planned their holiday cards. I think that turned out so cute. Thanks for watching. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you, so please hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.